Hey guys, we're back for the third and final car um, being videoed here at Tuesday at Coyote Classics. And uh, I'll tell you what, this is, uh, we saved the best for last. This 1968 Plymouth Roadrunner um, has been owned by the previous owner since 1987 and uh, was completely restored in the early 90s. Um, just an absolutely beautiful dark green 1968 real deal Roadrunner. Um, factory four speed in it. Uh, it's got beautiful Magnum uh, chrome rims, BFG raised white letters. And again, the car was restored in the early 90s and it still looks th this great today. When I bought the car from the gentleman, uh, he chose to paint this green. This is the same color of his high school car and that's what he was recreating. Um, and uh, did it with a real deal Roadrunner and, uh, and a real solid one at that. If you go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, um, check out the floors, subframe, torsion bars, rear frame rails, trunk floor, all that stuff. There's tons of pictures of it on there. It's a very, very solid Roadrunner. Now when we go underneath the hood, so many of these Roadrunners and stuff, uh, the fender tags are gone. This has the factory fender tag. Um, when he did the paint job back in 1994, he went ahead and uh, repainted all the engine compartment. Hood hinges, you know, everything looks great. Again, uh, back in the day, I'm sure it was a, a show winner, but you know, with 25, uh, what would that be, 25 years on it, basically. Um, it's got a few little imperfections, but you can still take it to any local car show and be super, super proud of this 1968 dark green Roadrunner. As we go underneath the hood, it is not the numbers matching motor, but it is a nicely cammed up, period correct 383 four barrel. Motor was rebuilt at the same time the car was redone, probably 92, I'm guessing, on the motor rebuild. Radiator support, all that kind of stuff is all painted nicely, interstate battery. No power steering, no power brakes, just all muscle. As we look at our hood gap here, we have a really nice even gap from front to back, lines up nice across the top. Um, some of these imperfections, most of them are in the hood, guys. Um, there's a bubble, a paint bubble right here by my finger at the very front edge of the hood. There's another one right here. Again, 20 some years, they've never broke open, nothing like that, but uh, they are there. Um, there's some other little paint imperfections, a couple tiny little spots here on the hood. And there's a spot right here on the uh, cowl, same thing. Paint bubble right there. Not busted open, nothing like that. It's been there for a long time, the guy said, but uh, we want to point them out. So it's got a few of those little imperfections that you can see when you get right on top of it. But when you stand back just a little bit, I mean, it's still a show quality looking car as far as the shine and color. Um, the grill looks really good. The front bumpers were all re-chromed during uh, restoration. So it had all new front bumpers redone. Back bumper was redone. If we look up and down the sides, paint and body is still super straight on it. There's one tiny little ding. Right there, I don't even know if it'll point out, but just a little ding there. Other than that, the back side of the hood matches the, uh, the cowl and the top of the fender perfectly. Um, the windshield, guys, is crystal clear. So there's no wiper marks, no issues, chips, nothing like that on the windshield. As we look at the top of the dash pad, top of the dash pad's perfect. Um, so many times these little air ducts up here, they get all rotted and chalky. They're perfect and so is the top of the dash paint. As we go to the front fender, the front fender, besides that little ding I pointed out, it's in excellent shape. Uh, 215, 70, 14s on the front. Uh, chrome rims are beautiful on it. No bubbles or blisters on the lower fender. Um, the rocker panel and door look awesome until we get right here. And there's uh, two bubbles right here on that lower rocker panel. You can see that right there. The corner of the door is excellent. We come over here in the bottom of the lower quarters, all in great shape. Over top of the wheel well is nice. As we go in here behind the rear quarter, that's in great shape as well. 
come in here in this rear sail area. Uh, again, so many times there's issues there, not in this car. Very, very nice. Same thing back in here, um, all the way from the uh, back window to the back of the trunk. Our seam here is very nice, all the way across. Uh, back shelf is like brand new. Interior is all brand new legendary interior done at the same time. The back glass is clean, the chrome is clean. Guys, this is a beautiful, beautiful driver. Check out the factory original stainless and chrome on the taillight and uh, emblems, taillight trim, taillight lenses, all that stuff is super clean. Dual exhaust sounds nice right out the back here. Uh, back bumper is excellent. Again, nice straight car for a dark green car. Um, as we go over the roof, the roof is in excellent shape. I don't see any prior hail damage, any dings, anything like that. Um, our stainless trim is in nice shape here. Doors open and close well. Here's another thing, look how nice the door jams were done. And this was a very nice restoration when it was done in 94. Corner of the door is perfect. Bottom of the door is nice. This car's got a nice little cam in it. You can just feel just a little, probably see a little bit of shake to it. It's got a nice little rumble. Uh, door panels, armrests, bases, all of that stuff is all brand new. The inside paint and the new felts, everything done on the inside of this door is just phenomenal. Look at the paint and the door jams as we come here to see how nicely the this top piece, which is all new, comes right down in here to the painted door jam and the dash. It's a really good shape, guys. Here's the inside corner of the door. Bottom of the door paint is excellent. Um, the carpet is nice. We do have a little fade in the carpet, being 25 years old. Just a little fade there. Uh, paint's good in the door jams here. Again, parchment interior, that's exactly what uh, Gary, the previous owner, had um, when he uh, was in high school, so that's how he decided to restore this car, and I am so glad he did. I absolutely love this uh, pearl white interior in this Roadrunner with a green combination. I'm gonna go ahead and look at the back seat. Uh, back seat does have seat belts for two. The back door panels are all new as well. Dome light works, the headliner, everything as far as the headliner is in perfect shape. The back paint, the back paint is in excellent shape. Door panels, oh gosh. It's got the uh, absolutely beautiful Hurst shifter, look at that. But what sold me on this car when I went to look at it, I look at a lot of Roadrunners, you do too, Dalton just joined me here. We look at a lot of Roadrunners and for some re reason, 90% of them, 80% of the ones we look at, the dashes are trashed out. They just, yeah. They just are. Right. Look at that, this dash. I'm going to go as slow as I can across it, but the pads, the dash pad itself, all of this applique, he completely restored this back in the day. Original AM radio, the factory tag gauges, crystal clear lens, 92,782 miles on the odometer. <laughs> Original horn, perfect steering wheel, not a crack. I mean, guys, this was a no expense spared restoration back in 93, 94. I know. And you always call me after you go look at something and buy it. I always give you a call and say, hey, how was it? What can you tell me about it? And I remember you're so, so damn excited about this Roadrunner. And I mean, just you kept talking about how nice the dash was on it. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I know. It's hard to find on these Roadrunners. It is. I mean, look at look at around here on the, uh, the key holder and just, it's just nice, guys. The wipers work on it, factory tack works. It's got aftermarket gauges, it's 95 degrees, we're running 190. Uh, oil pressure still at about 45 pounds. Um, original radio, guys, does not work, but it's perfect and it looks great in there. And those all move freely, it looks like? Yeah, they do. And the yes. heater fan heater fan works great, too. A lot of times those buttons there, it's supposed to be in the Yeah, original they all work freely, Dalt. And I think, I mean, yeah. overall, this uh, color with that white interior is absolutely beautiful. 
It is. Oh, I, I already mentioned that. I absolutely love it. And on a day like today when we're looking at 9,500 degrees, you get in that white interior and you don't have to go out. <laughs> exactly. Um, what do you think of it? I mean, I, I pointed out a few little flaws, but isn't it still a show quality, awesome looking car right here? Yeah. I mean, what's there not to like except for those few little flaws, D? I, I really don't know, and to be honest with you, um, I think sometimes in our videos it seems like we're picking on our cars, but we want our customers to know everything about them. Um, like I said, if you were to come look at this car in person, you might miss a lot of the stuff that we're pointing out in this video. Uh, because a lot of our customers don't come here. You know what That's I mean? True. We just want everyone tickled with them when they get them. Um, and we know they're old cars and they're not perfect, but uh, this one sure has a lot of sex appeal, I'll tell you that. This thing's awesome looking, man. A lot of sex appeal on this road runner. <laughs> Um, as far as our back uh, trunk lid, that kind of thing, it looks awesome. Back in here in this other rear sail, there's no issues, no body filler lines, no problems whatsoever anywhere in this quarter panel that I can see. And it's been quite a while since we've had a Roadrunner, and let alone, I mean, one this like nice. this. This nice, yeah. The rear quarter panel is excellent. We've got a couple little scratches down here that have been touched up. You can see it very slightly there. Um, over the wheel well is excellent. In front of the wheel is great. Um, no bubbles, no blisters, no issues. Now, uh, the previous owner, when I bought this, said he sent these wheels out. I think they made it a nine inch. Um, they cut them, they re-chrome them, and, and do all this. So this is actually a nine inch rim, Dalton. Oh, wow. And uh, yeah, you have to custom make them. 245, 60, 14s on there. Tires are in great shape. Um, we do have a lot of little paint chips on this door. So the worst part of this entire car is on this driver's door. Uh, if you look down low, it's just got a lot of little tiny little chips, a couple little scratches right there. So a few little imperfections here, but our gap is great. Have we put a buff on this one yet? We have not buffed it out no, at all. No, no. No, we're, we didn't buff it out. Um, it looks great. It probably doesn't need it, but if you wanted to, it'd really look good. Um, here again, I mentioned the other side. Look how straight the top of the door, fender, and cowl all match up. Really clean. Again, we got, uh, um, there's a little hole here. I don't know if it's from a rocker molding, but a little pre-drilled hole. Not really sure what they were doing there, if they're, what the deal was there. But we're missing that. Is that a little star piece on their side, D? Will you look? Is that what we're missing there, I think? Is there a little star piece? Yeah, so that's what we're missing, guys. That's what I figured. So it's missing that little, uh, that little Chrysler star. If I can hop in for a second, I know you probably talked about the undercarriage already. Yeah, I did. Um, but I was just looking at the pictures you took a couple minutes ago um, on our website, and man, that undercarriage really I mean, surprised me. Just rock solid. Looks to be original. And just quality. It's a good quality car. Um, VIN number RM21, factory Roadrunner. Um, we kind of also, like I said, there's a picture of the fender tag on there. Um, driver's side door is just as nice as the passenger, guys. Absolutely show quality, stunning. Nice paint work. Gas gauge works, alternator gauge works, temp gauge works, tack works, all the gauges, Sun Pro down below. Um, E-brake does work. Look at the pedals and stuff. When he did it, he did a beautiful job on the pedals, painted them. Um, seat is excellent. There's absolutely no wear on the interior, even though it was done over 25 years ago. I don't even know. I mean, I know he drove it, but wow. He took, took pride in a lot of care, and I'll let you go ahead and take it from here. Rip that up quick while I sneak around back. Yeah, I mean, that that dual exhaust sounds awesome too, coming out of that 383, period, correct 383. Ooh, this is hot, D. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, it's it's ridiculous. But like you said, at least the, their seats aren't hot. No, you know, I know. You put your arm on here, guys. This has been outside pretty much all day. Put my hand on it. It is not warm at all. <laughs> That's what's nice about white interior. Yeah, I mean, it's so underrated too, but when it comes to a hot day like this, hopefully we don't have too many of them. Uh, but boy, when you do, isn't it nice to sit down it in does. a white it interior? It does. It nice, man. Seriously. Transmission shifts great. I mean, just really, the car pulls really nicely. We go ahead and here's at a stop, a fast stop. Yeah. No hands on the wheel, stops perfectly straight. 
What's this? Might be drum too. Yeah, I think that's what I was wondering. Yeah, pretty sure it is. Go ahead and see if we can catch this Honda. Should we? God, if you don't, I might be embarrassed. Chirps them going into second. I don't know. If we God, get the Honda or not? Get him. Hey, this thing guys off about. 85, 90 mile an hour according to the speedometer. Yeah. Catching right up to the Honda. Yeah, Wiley um, Coyote might have a hard time catching this Roadrunner. Look though, I mean, this thing just goes down the road absolutely perfect. Um, front alignment is awesome. You wanna honk at the Honda? <laughs> yeah. Get out of the way. Yeah, it really runs and drives nice. All. Um, factory tack works. Alignment's awesome. It goes down the road great. It's just a, a quality car. I mean, there's it, nothing more to say about it's it. It's a quality I mean, car. It's got, you know, five, four, five little, six little bubbles, a couple little scratches, but uh, all in all, just an absolutely quality car that you can jump right in, drive to your local car show, show it off, have some fun, go to a cruise night. Hell, I might drive this home tonight. Cheers. I know, I know, it's damn nice. So Go check it out on the website, guys. I'll put the link below this video in the description. Hop on there, check out the pictures. Uh, that undercarriage will, will blow you away. Sweet, sweet car.